Hi everyone, welcome back to A Plus English. I'm Pat. I'm Tiffany. So we're on day two of our Back Through Time time travel article, and here Roxy and Shia arrive on a ship. Right now, this is a ship、um, that we don't really see too often. Now it's actually an old ship with really big sails, so it's not a very modern one. So you can imagine、um, the sails are like big. Pieces of white cloth.、Mm. Now the ship is going up and down, so Roxy feels seasick, and Shia tells her to look at the horizon.、Mm, I know how she's feeling because I get that way too sometimes. So、um, she's looking over at the ho-、uh, horizon, and then she sees some sailors on the ship.、Mm-hmm. Now they're speaking a language.、Um, well, Roxy doesn't really understand. They're speaking Portuguese, so they are from Portugal. Yeah, and then Roxy, looking out on the horizon, sees an island, which the sailors are excited about and call it Ilha Formosa. It means beautiful island. So, once we hear Formosa, we know that we are looking at the island of Taiwan. Yep. So let's find out what happens next by reading through the article. Back through time, Ila Formosa. 请在美剧朗读后一起跟着念哦 Let's go. Roxy and Shia. Are taking a smaller boat to Taiwan. So, what year is this? Portuguese sailors saw Taiwan in 1542. I can see mountains and many trees. The sailors are right. It is very beautiful. They land on the island. Look at all these butterflies! Wow, there are so many different kinds. Their wings are so pretty. I can see all the different colors. Is Taiwan famous for butterflies? Yes, it has almost four hundred species of butterfly. Many people came here to see or study them. I would like to spend more time here. Me too, but we have to get back to the ship. True, we can't let them sail away with the time machine. Roxy and Shia go back to the ship. Word power. Boat. Boat. Larry took. His boat out to the middle of the lake. Larry took his boat out to the middle of the lake. 
Butterfly. Butterfly. The butterfly has yellow and brown wings. The butterfly has yellow and brown wings. Pretty. Pretty. Donna looks pretty with long hair. Donna looks pretty with long hair. Sail. Sail. Christopher Columbus sailed from Spain to the New World. Christopher Columbus sailed from Spain to the New World. All right. So the article first starts with a scenario describing what's happening. It says Roxy and Shia are taking a smaller boat to Taiwan. Okay. So in day one, we learned、uh, our word power word,、uh, the word ship. Now we see here the word power word for boat. Boat is spelled B O A T. It's a noun and it means a small ship. We also use it to travel on the sea. But as Pat mentioned earlier in the previous day, a ship is usually bigger, so it can carry small boats, and the boat is actually smaller. So if you think about the Titanic, the Titanic is a big ship, and then boats are something a little bit smaller、hmm. than that. There were many smaller boats on the ship Titanic, for That's example. That's right. Lifeboats too.、Mm. All right. So, what is our example sentence? We can say, "Larry took his boat out to the middle of the lake." Larry took his boat out to the middle of the lake. Okay. So, as they're taking this small boat to Ilia Formosa or Taiwan, Shia is curious. So, he, Roxy seems to know that、uh, this island is Taiwan. She has a bit more of an idea of what's going on. So, Shia asks her. So, what year is this?、Mm, so he's testing her history,、mm. knowledge of history, and then Roxy says, "Portuguese sailors saw Taiwan in 1542." So she does know her bit of history、Smart. here. Yeah. All right. So here we see the word "saw." S A W. That's actually、uh, a verb in the past tense. But let's take a look at our magic box, or let's listen to our magic box to learn more about how to use、uh, verbs in their past tense. Magic box, 照亮点。大家好，魔法世界无人不知，无人不晓。我就是大名鼎鼎的巫师哈利波特。哎，听到我的名字呢，还不知道我是谁？啊，你呢？肯定呢是个麻瓜吧？不过呢，没关系哦，因为呢，今天要教英文，不需要来学魔法喽。英文里面呢，我们都知道一个句子的组成呢，需要主词、动词。例如呢，我说什么 ，I am a wizard， 我是个巫师。但如果呢，事情发生在过去，我们该怎么说呢？假如说呢，我现在已经是个老 Coco， 已经退休，不再当巫师了。Okay， I was a wizard。I was a wizard. OK， 注意到呢，我们 am 这个 be 动词 am 变成了 was。OK， 这就是呢过去简单式的用法咯。当你呢在说一个过去发生而且已经结束的动作，我们的动词就要使用过去简单式。例如呢，我去学校 ，I go to school。这个呢是现在式。如果是呢，我们加上了过去的时间 ，yesterday， 昨天呢、哦。我昨天有去学校，记得呢，我们句子呢就要变成 I went to school yesterday. I went to school yesterday. 我昨天呢有去学校。这件事情呢是昨天发生，而且昨天去过了，已经结束了。我现在呢已经没有在学校了。就使用呢我们过去简单式的用法咯。看到这里呢，你已经知道我们这个用法最关键的是什么，就是动词的变化。哎，这个看起来超级奇怪，到底是怎么变的呢？哎，不要担心哦，因为呢，刚刚我们举的两个例子呢，它都是属于不规则的变化，绝大部分的动词呢都是规则变化，所以呢，你不要担心哦。规则变化怎么变化呢？注意到我们只要在后面加上 e d， OK， 加上 e d 呢，这个动词呢就变成了过去式的用法咯。
。例如呢，我昨天上课的时候呢，有和麦教授说话。I talked to the professor yesterday in the class. I talked to the professor yesterday in the class. OK, talk 是原形哦，表示说话。我们呢在后面加上 e d 表示过去发生了 ，OK， 这个呢就是规则的变化。例如呢 ，talk 变成 talked， 我们在后面加上 e d。那不规则的变化该怎么办呢？这时候呢就要花点力气来把它背起来喽。例如呢，我们刚刚说的 be 动词 ，be 动词呢就是一个不规则变化的用法喽。I am a student， 我是一个学生。假如说呢我已经毕业了，我已经开始上班，我再也不是学生了。I was a student. I was a student. OK， 我们 am 呢就变成 was。注意到了，我们第三人称单数的 be 动词 is is 呢也是一样的变化喽。is 跟 am 呢，我们过去式都变成 was。He was at home ten minutes ago. He was at home ten minutes ago. 十分钟前呢，他还在家。他现在大概出门了。OK， 那如果是 were are 的话 ，are are 这个自动词呢，我们就要变成 were。OK， we were in the class this morning. We were in the class this morning. 今天早上呢，我们都在课堂上。注意到呢，你说这句话的时候，大概是已经下午了，因为呢，早上已经过去了。时间呢，在我们过去式的句子里面也是非常重要的哦。Hi guys, welcome back to the article. So,、uh, Shia and Roxy can now see the island. They're getting closer to Taiwan, and Shia says, "I can see mountains and many trees," which is, of course, what you would see if you looked at Taiwan from a boat on the sea. Yeah, and then Shia says, "The sailors are right." So, what are they right about? Well, they are right because. He also adds, "It is very beautiful."、Mm-hmm. Now, remember that word, "right." We learned that yesterday. It means they were correct. They called it "beautiful island," Ilia Formosa, and they were right. It is very beautiful.、Mm-hmm. Taiwan is a very beautiful island and beautiful、mm-hmm. country. Okay, next we see another scenario. So、um, they're on the ship. They're getting closer to the island. So here it describes they land on the island. So they reach the island. Yeah. Note there we're using land as a verb, which is when your plane or boat stops moving and you can get off onto the land. So Roxy then says, "Look at all these butterflies." Okay, that's our next word power word for today. Butterfly, b u t t e r f l y, butterfly, and a butterfly is a type of insect that has large wings and almost always, or very often, very beautifully coloured wings. And as most of you guys should know, they start out as caterpillars crawling around, then they change into beautiful butterflies after a few days or something of living in their little shell. It's called a cocoon. Okay, so let's look at an example sentence. The butterfly has yellow and brown wings. The butterfly has yellow and brown wings.、Mm, I never noticed that Taiwan had so many butterflies.、Mm, it does. Yeah. Okay, so Shia says. Wow, there are so many different kinds, right? So there's a lot of different kinds of butterflies, and it all just depends on the color of their wings.、Mm-hmm. And it could be where you are, and it、mm-hmm. could be what、uh, what kind of temperature it is, because different butterflies prefer different things. Roxy adds, "Their wings are so pretty." Okay,、uh, here we see "wing," which is another word we used in that example sentence a moment or so ago. The wing is a bird. Arms or something on the back of a bug that is shaped in a special way and allows that animal to fly. Okay, of course humans don't have wings, but I really wish we had. It would be awesome、yeah. to be able to fly, but we don't.、Uh, birds do, bugs do, a few other things do, but there you go. So we could say the eagle spread its wings and flew down from the mountain. If only humans can fly! Imagine、mm. all the free travel、oh, weekends. That's so nice. All right. So, how does Roxy describe the wings? She says they are so pretty. Their wings are so pretty. Pretty is our word power word, and it's spelled P R E T T Y. Pretty. Pretty is an adjective, and it means 
beautiful, or something that looks very attractive to you. So there might be a pretty lady on the street, or this celebrity like Beyonce or Lady Gaga. They can be very pretty. Um, pretty is mostly used to describe women. If、mm. you want to describe a man, we would say handsome. Yeah, or a child of I, a boy or a girl, both little babies could、mm-hmm. be pretty. I think that's okay. Yeah, but I think like as you get older, it's better to use、yes. handsome for men and pretty for women. All right, so next,、um, let's take a look at our example sentence. It says Donna looks pretty with long hair. Donna looks pretty with long hair. Okay, so Roxy is、uh, adding to what she just said about the pretty wings. She says, "I can see all the different colors." So there are many, many colors. There's blues, yellows, reds, purples, all sorts.、Mm. And Shia asks, "Is Taiwan famous for butterflies?" Okay, so famous for means that something that is well known. Is Taiwan well known for butterflies? And Roxy, who seems to know quite a lot about this island, says yes. It has almost four hundred species of butterfly. A species is an important word in biology. It's a particular kind of animal or plant. So there are like six hundred thousand species of trees, or something like that. Something a huge number. Many different species of animals. Now, one kind of scientific sort of a rule. About species is if two plants or animals are from the same species, they can have babies together.、Oh. But if they're not, they very often can't. For example, dogs and wolves are actually the same species of animal, although one is wild and the other one is kind of like living at home. So they can have puppies. Right, we cannot have a dog or a cat. Dog、That'll、and a cat, no,、weird. that's two different species. But dog and wolf, that's okay. Yep. Uh, all right. So next, Roxy says many people came here to see or study them. So actually, I didn't know this. I didn't know Taiwan had so many species of butterflies. So a lot of people, maybe scientists, they come to Taiwan to look at the different kinds of butterfly that we have in Taiwan.、Mm-hmm. And Shia, he thinks this is a great place to be. He says. I would like to spend more time here. You know, I want to, like me, nine years almost, live on this、mm-hmm. island for a long time. Yeah, there's so many things to do and see in Taiwan. So Roxy says, "Me too," but we have to get back to the ship. Mm, of course, their ship can't get too close to the island because the water isn't deep enough. So their boat can, their smaller boat can. But back on their ship, of course, that's how they'll get away from the island and to somewhere else. And there's another good reason that they need to get back to the ship as well, which Shia says here. He says, "True, we can't let them sail away." With the time machine, of course, the time machine is too big to go on their little boat and go to the island. So they would have left it on the main big ship. But if the ship goes away and leaves them there, then、Uh-oh. they'll be stuck <laughs> in Taiwan in the 16th century, which is no good for them. Now there, we saw our last word power word for the day, which is sail. S A I L, sail, and here it is a verb. We've talked about sail as a noun, that big piece of usually white material, but sail as a verb means to travel on or across an area of water in a boat or ship. Okay, now. Strictly, it would mean travel across it with sails. But these days, even though we don't use sail anymore, we still kind of use the same verb for any kind of boat moving across the water or across the sea. Here's an example sentence: Christopher Columbus sailed from Spain to the New World. Christopher Columbus sailed from Spain to the New World. And、by the New World, we mean North, South, Central America, all of those places. Right. He, he was the one who kind of discovered the the Americas. The Americas. Yeah. He didn't yeah. land <laughs> in the U.S., but you know, he kind of saw it from afar. Yep. All right. So, lastly,、um, let's take a look at the description. It says Roxy and Shia go back to the ship, and 
it leads us to another adventure. Where are they going to go next? Who、We're、knows?、Sure. Who knows where they're going to go next? They'll have another fun adventure. Maybe discover another new place. But now it's time for us to go to today's wrap-up review time. <laughs> Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。Okay, for this review time game, we've、uh, Tiffany and I have spent some time reading and making up a few questions about this article. We're going to take turns asking each other to see if we can what we can remember. So, my question first: Where are the sailors on the ship from?、Mm, I. Remember, it's Portugal. Yes, it is. Okay, your question. Okay, I have a question for you. It says,、uh, "What does Ila Formosa mean?"、Hmm. Now we've discussed that a few times, and like I said earlier, I've been in Taiwan for <laughs> like nine years, so I've gone pretty familiar with this. It means a beautiful island, and it was the name that the Portuguese gave to Taiwan. Yeah. All right. So you asked me a question. Okay. My question is, who feels seasick? Roxy or Shia? I feel seasick just、okay. from reading about it. Just from、uh, yeah, I saw your face go green. You guys can't see it because we're kind of on the radio. But when we talked about the ship going up and down, up and down, Tiffany went bright green. Yeah, it's not for me. So I know who went seasick as well. It was Roxy. So Roxy and I are both on the same page.、Mm-hmm. Okay,、um, here's a question for you. What's one way to deal with sea sickness? Okay, so sea sickness. This is when you get sick when you're on the sea on a boat or ship. And as Shia told Roxy, you need to look at the horizon. There are other things you can do if you get car sick, like looking out the window or sitting in the same direction that the car is going. That helps.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but for sea sickness, you try to look at the horizon. Right. Okay,、right. my question then: When did Portuguese sailors see Taiwan? This is something that Shia asked Roxy. Can you remember the date? Hmm, this is a little bit hard. It's a history question.、It、Let、is. me go back and take a look. No、It、cheating,、is. no looking. <laughs> okay, okay. I remember it's fifteen forty-two. Fifteen forty-two is, is that correct? correct. That is、yes. when, of course, there were people on the island already. So we can't really say the island was discovered because the people who lived here already had it. But Portuguese sailors saw it and named it and kind of added it to their maps in the West in fifteen forty-two. Yeah, and I think、um, we can also have a little piece of、uh, history here. We can go to Danzui to、yes. take a look at some of the forts the Portuguese yeah, left behind. Yeah, and the、behind. Dutch and some of the early explorers. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and one last question for you. Okay. How many species of butterfly are on the island? Oh, a lot. Is that okay? Can I just say a lot, or do you、yeah. want a number? Can you give us a ballpark、oh, figure of a number? I'm going to say, if I remember the article, almost four hundred. Yep. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. All right. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this article and this little piece of history. Thanks for listening for A Plus English. I'm Pat. I'm Tiffany. Bye bye. Bye. Back through time. Ila Formosa. Roxy and Shia are taking a smaller boat to Taiwan. So, what year is this? Portuguese sailors saw Taiwan in 1542. I can see mountains and many trees. The sailors are right; it is very beautiful. They land on the island. Look at all these butterflies! Wow, there are so many different kinds. Their wings are so pretty. I can see all the different colors. Is Taiwan famous for butterflies? Yes, it has almost 400 species of butterfly. Many people came here to see or study them. I would like to spend more time here. Me too, but we have to get back to the ship. True, we can't let them sail away with the time machine. Roxy and Shia go back to the ship. Boat. Boat. Larry took his boat out to the middle 
of the lake. Larry took his boat out to the middle of the lake. Butterfly. Butterfly. The butterfly has yellow and brown wings. The butterfly has yellow and brown wings. Pretty. Pretty. Donna looks pretty with long hair. Donna looks pretty with long hair. Sail. Sail. Christopher Columbus sailed from Spain to the New World. Christopher Columbus sailed from Spain to the New World.